As you see, Islam is a very silly cult. Make no sense in every way, every mean. Hello? Uh, hello, you are welcome. Okay, um, um, my name is Rosa, and I was, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the live stream, and I wanted to give my reasons All right. to the question that you mentioned. So, I have a number of reasons, but then the main one is the fact that this God got um, our faith wrong, saying that Miriam uh, or Mary is part of the Trinity, which I don't understand how could that be. And the worst part being that he waited 600 years after the death of Christ to then tell us Christians that we got it all wrong. Yeah. And um, knowing that we are 2 billion plus people and we are all destined for hell, I don't think a God who is all-knowing, all-wise, all-powerful would just create to destroy and to, to, to bring anguish and pain onto people. 2 billion plus. That, that does not make sense. Yeah, well, here actually, uh, this is a very important point. Uh, when Allah, He claimed that He is God, and then He did not know even uh, the faith of the Christians, which is very simple. I mean, you do not need yeah. to be. It's a. I mean, how in the world Mary she became uh, the wife of God, and then <laughs> Jesus is His baby son. That is the most stupid <laughs> idea. Even ch even children didn't know that the Christian don't believe in that. That God, He yeah. have a wife. Her name is Mary, and uh, yeah. even the stupid Quran says that Mary is a virgin. Yeah, right? exactly. So, yeah, exactly. so how Mary she become the God? Where who is the one who worship Mary? Some foolish people okay. they will say to you the Catholic. That's a lie. The Catholic they ask okay. Mary. They ask Mary to pray for them. They don't pray to Mary. Yes. They don't worship Mary. Because she's a saint. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, all, all Christians, all Christians with no exception. And let us say for the sake of argument, a Muslim he might say to you, well there is uh, some group one day. Well, uh, what's, but Muhammad he claimed all the Christians they do that. He didn't yeah, have another, exactly. he don't have other option. He says the Christians, mm -hmm. they believe in that. Yeah, which is so false. Absolutely. And, and false. then when he tried to refute the idea, he says, uh, uh, if Allah want to take a wife or a son, he will take from ourselves. <laughs> and then how 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 you claim that you are the God, who the only one, there's no one like you. And then you say, I will take a partner from us. The us mean we are similar. You know, when I say the yeah. word us, like English is my, my my first language, as you know, but Arabic is my first language, you know? So it's, yeah. it's very clear, yeah. you know, he want to take it from us. Okay, us who, aren't you the only one? Is that, yeah, there's exactly. other gods? Yes, exactly. There isn't any. So why are you comparing yourself? Who are you going to take partnership with? And Allah obviously is a stupid God. He don't, you know, he don't understand. Yeah. Uh, imagine I go now and I say that the Muslim they believe in the Trinity. Well, that's mean I do yeah. not know what Islam is about. This is exactly, exactly, you know, what Muhammad did. He claimed that Allah he understood the Trinity, and then right away he starts saying, "Well, Jesus, Mary, uh, and Allah." Uh, and not only that, actually, there is a verse in the Quran. Uh, it says that the one who says uh, the Messiah is a son is Allah. The Messiah is Allah. Well, if you understand the Trinity, how the Christian they say that the Messiah is Allah. So who is the second person? Because now we have to yeah. eliminate. We have to eliminate two names. Yeah. Allah and yeah. the Messiah because they became one. Yeah, they became so one. Exactly. If if the Messiah is Allah, and this is what the Christian believe. So who is the second person, and who is the third person? <laughs> Maybe we have to add Musa. Yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. right, all right, my my sister. Thank you for calling. Anything else? Thank you. No, I. The small thing I would like to add is just that um, I'm basically using your show and all the information that you put for all of us Christians to um, have the courage to talk to my Muslim friend also one day because. Well, I have a correction for you. You should not say my Muslim friends because Muslim don't take uh -huh. a friends. Correct. Ah, yes, that is true. And her name yeah. is Takia, by the way. Her name is Takia. That even make it more horrible. You know, I mean, the, she is my Muslim friend and her name is Takia. That that can be a good movie. You know, we can change the title. I mean, how in the world do you get a person to have such a name? Her name is Takia, yeah. guys. Her, she has a friend. She is a Muslim friend. Her name is Takia. 
Good luck. It's like you're Adam. Like good it's, it's good so luck bad. with your friendship, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really hoping to talk to her, but yeah. It's it's painful when I when I see them and I talk. Sometimes I feel pain and then the, at the other part I'm just like, no. Um it's it's not worth it's not worth it dealing with people who mock our faith. They are the other ones who are lost, but at the same time it's it's good that I watch your show and I see how you give them tough love because they need to get the spanking before they get the veil of their face. And that, that's what I appreciate. So well, we are trying see. to help them. You know, here we are not really, the purpose is not the spanking, but sometimes if you, even if you have a son, he's taking drugs, what do you do? You tell him it's okay. Yeah. You know, I love you. Do whatever you want. No, no you scream time. in his face, you shout in him so he can wake up. Uh, you know, yeah. that the drugs is killing you, is destroying you. And this is the same as Muhammad is a drug. Yeah. Promising <laughs> sex and women and etc. All of, all of this zucchini yeah. doesn't, doesn't work Muslims. If he, you know, I challenge you actually to prove to me that, is it Muhammad, he said, that uh, when they when they said to him, he said, uh, uh, pray for me every Friday, pray on me every Friday, for your prayer will be supplicated to me. They said to him, Prophet, but your body will be decayed. He said, yeah. oh, we are the, the people of the Prophet, like the kind of the Prophet. Mm -hmm. Our body will never decay. And then after a few days, the guy, he stink. <laughs> He was thinking and, 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 very and then and then fourth and fourth was coming non-stop as if he ate beans actually i think muhammad was american you know <laughs> when i came to america the first thing i noticed that american they fought a lot and i was wondering why and then i discovered because of beans so mr beans, bean yeah. muhammad he was farting non-stop and he claimed that we are the messenger of allah you know we don't our body will not decay so keep him in the top of the floor go muslim dig the grave put him in the tops let everybody see the miracle 1400 years muhammad will be the same as the same day he died that's what he claimed you know yeah exactly yeah exactly. well say hello yeah. to your uh, say hello to your friend taqiyah sister <laughs> <laughs> one day is one day thank okay. you okay so all right. All right. Bye. Take care. Take mm -hmm. care. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, we have a Muslim saying, Jesus is not God and you worship Mary Kafirs. Well, you have to prove it. You're an idiot. Same time, I say to you, Muhammad is not, uh, Allah is not God, and your God is Muhammad. Let me call this Abdul, just for like entertainment purpose. And by the way, I'm expecting Ultimate Far to try to call as much as he can to retain his honor, which is scattered all over the floor. Let us see, we are calling the Abdul. Hello? So guys, didn't I tell you this is Ultimate Fart? Here we go. Hey, Ultimate Fart, how are you? I'm good. How okay, you? what is the name of your prophet wife? No, first the thing we do... Hey, get lost. Don't call me ever again. We are done with you. You became an abused, used diver. All the news. People are laughing at you, and we do not need to laugh more. Have mercy. You see, because they lose... They gay, you know, like they try to call and a call and a call. Maybe this time I will make it. Maybe this time I will survive. <laughs> Filthy mouth. Uh, what is the name of your prophet wife Aisha? Where do you get this information from? Uh, from the books of uh, history. <laughs> Okay, Muhammad, you have a son. The only case in history, uh, it says Muhammad have only one case in history. He have a adopted son. Where is that? This is in the Hadith. So the coward, the liar, he keeps saying we don't believe in the Hadith, etc. And last time we have him busted with no mercy. At the, you know, I'm going to change your name from Ultimate Far to UFO, like your God. <laughs> All right. Who is next? Um, all right. Someone else. Yeah, you know, when you go and do gambling and you lose badly, so what do you do? You go borrow more money and you try to play again. 
And this is what happened with this poor Abdul, you know? He lost badly and he tried to retain his lost honor. Hello? Good morning. Good evening, good morning, my friend. You are welcome. Yeah, I, are you, a, are you a Christian or a Muslim? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Christian. Okay, what do you want to say to us? Yeah, you actually, I want, first of all, I want to like appreciate you for um, the things that you do and the so much knowledge that we get from your education. And um, I actually, each time you come online, I actually have my notebook with me just to get information. And I started listening to you because of what, a particular friend, because I went to a Muslim school at a tender age in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, we had to read Surah al fatiha every Friday. So I actually learned those things with no knowledge. I was a Christian. I was born in a Christian home, and we got all those information because of the Muslim um, college that we attended. We didn't know that this religion is like um, a fake religion, you know, yeah. and all of that. And then as I continue to grow up, the challenge started coming, you know, like you hear some of them saying um, all kind of things about the Christian faith, you know, and the only way you have to know the original is when you have the original and then you study the original, then if the fake comes, then you have to, you, you, there's a way you can dis distinguish between the original from the fake. The Bible is the true and correct word of God and everything that the Quran says contradicts what the Bible says. So I tried searching on how to learn about Islam. Then I got David Wood. I listened to David Wood, most of his video. And then, you know, the algorithm actually direct. And that's how I got to know about, about you and also Rob Christen. So it's um, a wealth of information that we receive from these. The truth is Islam is false and Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is a fake prophet. Well, even the Stipa Quran confirmed that our book is never changed. This is how silly they are. You say, they say, all Muslim, they say to you, Guru, the Bible is a change, Bible is a change. They will open the Bible, Quran, it says chapter two, the chapter of the cow, the Hindu chapter. And when they come to them, to the Jews, uh, the book, the Quran, this is a Muslim translation, inserting the Quran, from Allah confirming what is with them. Yeah. Okay, so how it's corrupted, you know? Same for the for the, the gospel. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, uh, I mean, this is all over the Quran, like two, chapter two, verse number 91. We can show you in this uh, chapters and verses. And yeah. and then they come to you with Paul. Well, if we go to chapter 36, verse number 14, and read the interpretation, we will find that Paul is a messenger of Allah. So yeah. Muhammad simply, he was trying to hijack a Christianity, the same he hijacked Judaism, the same he hijacked uh, every religion around him, Saudi and anything, just he want to be international uh, corporation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friends, say, say hello to your uh, to your friends in Nigeria. Uh, we love okay. Af we love our brothers and sisters in Christ yeah. in Africa, and even we love the Muslims there. We pray that yeah. they will wake up and they will see the truth, and the truth will set them free. Yeah. And you know, not only to forget, how in the world somebody is a black African, he follows such a, a white supremacist religion. Don't yeah. they know that this is a religion for the, for the white Arab only, not for the black? Yeah. And they say to you, Bilal, Bilal, Bilal he, he lived all his life as a slave, and Muhammad never freed him. And the funniest part of this thing is, like, they don't even want to hear. They, like, they only come to you when you don't really have knowledge of Islam. But once you have the knowledge, they don't come to you. They just keep running away. Exactly. They pray, they, 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 they pray in, the, uh, in the ignorant, you know? Yeah. It's like it's like it's like a wolf waiting for the little lamb, not the mm -hmm. not for the buffalo. You know the buffalo who's big, he have big horns. The you know the hyena will not attack him. He, he know he's no yeah. match. You know, but he will go for the little one. He cannot hardly walk. He doesn't know what he's doing. His his eyes still small. Or he's just born yesterday. Yeah. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Thank you very much. Thank you for the information we get, and God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. All right, let us see. Uh, okay, we have somebody you want to talk to. Let us see. My internet. So CP. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. 
Hey, so I, I wanted to give you uh, <laughs> my top reason why I believe Islam is false. All right. Um, so I um, I started uh, reading the Quran uh, a while ago. I had a friend; she was uh, Muslim, so she started telling me Jesus wasn't crucified and all kind of stuff. So I read her book, and um, I finished the book in like three to six months. I just I couldn't put it down, and it wasn't because it was so good. It's just because of how stupid it was, how blasphemous it was against. Uh, what we believe uh, as Christians. And uh, I slowly started to realize when I started debating Muslims that Islam is like the religion of I don't know. And what exactly. I mean is like, like you ask them questions like, okay, well, who is Isa? Or, you know, Allahu Alam. Or uh, who was uh, on the cross if it wasn't Jesus? I don't know. Uh, if, well, what is Allah? I don't know. You know, like, uh, why does the uh, Quran call Christians uh, people of the book? Uh, if our book is corrupted, I don't know. Why is Muhammad in the Bible? I don't know. So it's like you you ask them simple, basic questions, and it's like what the caller said before, anyone with actual knowledge, uh, they run away from. They don't have any answers. I'm glad, my friend, to meet someone smart like you. But let us start with the first one. You remember, like you said, uh, uh, who was in the cross, right? Jesus, he, Allah, he replaced him, right? Right. But this is confirmed our Bible. Right. Because this is what we saw, and that the honest people is the one who write down what they saw. So then, exactly. then, then the idiot Muhammad, six hundred years after, he say, uh, 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 that was not Jesus." <laughs> you know, like "Hello, hello, hello." It's like a prank. You know, what the heck is that? This is God, or this is a joke? You know. So right. Allah, Allah was making a prank. He put someone look like Jesus, but it's not Jesus. But he looked like Jesus, so they thought he's Jesus. But Jesus was not Jesus. But Jesus was on the cross, and his mother she thought it's Jesus, but it's not Jesus. So Allah, he took the real Jesus, but he delivered over for Jesus. And the Christian they thought this is Jesus, so it's not Jesus. <laughs> what the heck is that? So what but we want to know? What we learn from this story that Allah is a cheater, is a liar, right? And he's a kid, but, you know. But you want to know something that's that's really funny. I um. So once I started realizing this. Uh, I made a TikTok account. I posted one video about Islam because I had studied it for a while. And the video got so many views. And that's when I realized, okay, like this is uh, a lot of Christians don't know anything about Islam, especially here in the West. So I was like, let me make this account so I can kind of educate some people on it based on the Christian perspective. What's so funny about specifically what you're talking about, Surah 4 verse 157 says uh, it was made to appear that Jesus was crucified, right? Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. if you keep reading, it says the people who argue or talk about yeah, the crucifixion sure. have no knowledge. But what's interesting is like, if you look at the Islamic sources, like uh, you look at um, uh, any like tafsir about it, the Muslims, the Abdul, they have different <laughs> interpretations of what happens. Some exactly. Of them, like, uh, Each one of them, uh, he give you... Each one of them, he, he, he give you his, his, own one. his own cartoon, <laughs> his own version of the cartoon. <laughs> it's like I was, I was, uh, I did a, a live stream on it the other day. Um, I think it was, Il, I think it was uh, Ibn Kathir. He says he doesn't know. But then if you go to Tafsir al-Tabari, it gives like eight different uh, uh, people that it may have been. Then if you go to like, uh, I think it was, um, uh, who's the cousin of um, of, of Muhammad? It's on altafsir.com. I can't remember. Uh, uh, Abbas, Abbas, the uncle but, and the uh, cousin, yeah. Tafsir. Yeah, yes, 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 Abbas. Yeah, he yeah. says that it was some some guy named um, Tetlanus or something like that. And then uh, there's a sheikh, um, Imran Hussein. He, he's now saying that he wasn't even crucified. I mean, that he was crucified, but then Allah just gave him back his body, which again confirms what the Bible says. It's like you might as well just become a Christian at this point. This religion is... I don't understand why anybody who has any common sense would be a Muslim. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I, I'm glad that there is Christians like you, my friend. You sound like a smart person. And uh, invite your friends here. So all of uh, all, all of those who they are seeking knowledge, they can increase. Uh, and you yourself, you can learn more and you can fight it. So I hope I encourage you, actually, not just to, you know, like, OK, we learn something. Islam is funny. I encourage you to spread the information between your friends, your people, whoever you are, wherever you live, and TikTok, etc. So people, they will see the truth, and the truth really is ugly about this cult. 